Morning guys, Nate here with Murray Farm and Ranch coming to you on a beautiful morning here in Oklahoma. You can see my breath, it's a little chilly here this morning, but the sun is shining and it is going to be a beautiful day. I'm over here in the shop this morning, got some stuff behind me. You know, right now chickens are a big topic. Price of eggs, you know, this avian flu and all these other things going on. A lot of folks have questions about chickens. And one of the big hot topics recently has been chicken feed and whether or not there's some conspiracy to um, lower the protein or you know, uh, some reason why chickens have been producing uh, fewer eggs. Whether or not it's a deliberate thing or not, people have been uh, kind of investigating making their own food and using other things outside of your box store chicken feed. I've got some ingredients behind me here and I'm gonna show you guys how we mix our feed. I use a uh, concrete mixer to mix my feed. It makes it a little easier than having to um, use a wheelbarrow and you know add in a little bit, mix it around. And uh, if you have a concrete mixer laying around, that's gonna be a great tool. You don't have to use it just for concrete. And you know, if there's a little bit of concrete left over, it's just gonna be some grit. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's chickens, they'll either eat it or they won't. So first thing is uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna put in our mix and uh, how we go about that. Alrighty, so the mix is five core ingredients. I didn't have enough room on the table for the fifth one, so it's on the ground. But uh, these, these, are, these are on the table listed kind of in order of the ratio. So the, the base of our mix is gonna be a one to one to one. And that is black oil sunflower seeds, uh, feed oats, and corn chops. So black oil sunflower seeds, they have a lot of good healthy fat in them. They're gonna have a protein content, a minimum protein content of around 15 to 16%. And these things are, are wonderful for all sorts of birds. Next is gonna be our, our feed oats. So feed oats are another seed. Um, this is gonna be a little bit, um, uh, lower in protein, they're probably going to be somewhere around 11 to 14 percent. But uh, birds love them. Corn, the corn chops are going to be the lowest protein um, in our mix. This is going to be about seven and a half percent protein. But corn has some good carbohydrates in it. It's it uh, and birds, you know, any bird loves cracked corn. You can use cracked corn or whole corn. Um, chickens have a gizzard and it doesn't matter to them whether it's cracked or not. The, the little rocks in their gizzard will do just fine at breaking it down. Uh, this bag, ooh, the, the, the bag that doesn't have any name. So this is flaxseed. So flaxseed is a much smaller seed um, it also is high in protein. It has a little bit different mix of protein, fat, carb ratio. And then our, our, uh, our wild card here is roasted soybeans. Oh man, the reason why we add the roasted soybeans, oh, and this back here, this is not part of the mix. This is daddy's supplement, some coffee. That is what keeps me going. So the soybean, if you look at your, your, uh, your protein, it's guaranteed minimum to be 36% protein. So this is like a little powerhouse of protein here. And that's, that's part of the what reason why we add it to our mix. So the sunflower, corn, and oats are a one to one to one ratio. And the Flax seed and soybeans are at a one to four ratio. Our end product is going to look something like this. So when you get a handful of this, you're going to see 
flaxseed, you're going to see soybeans, you're going to see uh, black oil sunflowers, and um, oats. And so this, this mix right here looks way more like a like what you would expect a um, grain, like a scratch grains to look like. But the difference is, is this thing is, is kicking in the protein department, where your scratch grains may be like 11%, this is gonna be closer to like 20% uh, protein. Well, one of the things I wanted to mention is that your mix, your needs may be a little bit different. Um, our birds are, uh, their, their, their coop area is contained with inside uh, another fence. And so that area is about an acre in size. And so they have a lot of room to rummage around and they pick bugs and they, you know, they, they supplement their diet. When we're home, we a lot of times will open that up and we let them free range wherever they wanna go. And in, and in those days, I mean, they can eat all sorts of different things. We also supplement with kitchen scraps. Um, Anything that we that we have left over that's organic goes into our compost bins and our compost bins are open bins and our chickens will get in there and scratch and dig around and they pick kind of what they want they leave what they don't and so um, our, our chickens are getting alternate sources of food in addition to what we're feeding here. And so if your if you're chickens, if your situation is different, maybe you live in town, you have a really small area, maybe your chickens you know, live in a, in a 12 by 10 run and that's all they get, um, your supplements may, you're, you may need to, to do things a little different based on what their, uh, the availability of their nutrients may be. So anyway, we're gonna do, like I say, a one to one to one uh, uh, black sunflower, corn chops, oats ratio, and then four to one roasted soybeans and flaxseed. We're gonna supplement with some oyster shell and some diatomaceous earth. And that is gonna make a bang up mix for, your ch for, for our chickens. Um, I store it in these plastic containers that have a lid. It keeps it nice and dry. It keeps critters out of there and uh, it just, it's ready to go when we need it. Let's talk about a couple of uh, other things that you need to think about supplementing. So number one here is gray, uh, grit. Your grit is basically little um, granite chips that have been ground up. They're abrasive and the birds will lodge these in their gizzards and then these things they grind back and forth when they when they eat foods and seeds and it and it helps to extract the nutrients so when you're making a mix like this the birds have to have grit available we feed the grit on an as like on a free choice basis so we'll have it uh, available for them in a separate tray and they can get it as they need it Oyster shell is a mix that we will put in our mix. Um, this is a little bag. It's much more efficient to buy a 50 gallon um, or a 50 uh, pound bag. My food store was out of them the other day, so I bought these just uh, kind of for purposes of sh making this video. But we'll mix this in with our feed. And then diatomaceous earth is something else that, um, that you may think about supplementing. It's good for, um, maybe it's potentially good for removing parasites and it's, uh, it's another source of calcium and we mix in a little bit with our feet. So, all right, we know what's in it now. Let's get to the mixing. I want to talk uh, quantity now. So uh, your typical adult laying hen is going to wear, uh, eat somewhere between one and a half and two pounds per week. So you can, you can kind of figure out how much you want to make uh, for what length of time you want to make it based on how many chickens you have. There you have it, folks. It's that easy. 
It's not hard to make your own chicken feed. It's going to be pretty cost effective also. Um, I think in the long run, it actually becomes more so because I feel like our chickens do a better job uh, feeding on this kind of stuff. I feel like they lay more eggs. Right now, eggs are super crazy expensive because of the, the shortage of birds, uh, mature birds out there laying eggs. And so, you know, by, by upping your production, your hens become more valuable. And so I feel like the few cents extra per pound that you may have going into making your own feed is actually worth it in the long run. You've got a much more uh, potent protein meal for them, which uh, is gonna transfer over to their eggs. And then when you eat them, you're gonna have a better final product.